Hey Phoenix fam, what's poppin? We are back at Mission 24, Germany's best 24 hour Milzim in Malwinkel, my favorite field. Let's go! We're gonna check out the beginning of Mission 24. We are part of La Hondra, Los Pinchos Sucos, the cartel, so to speak, and we are gonna fight against the task force. All night, all day tomorrow, 24 hours straight. It's gonna be a blast. I'm gonna take you along. I'm gonna show what I'm running today and a loadout, what primary I'm gonna use, and then we're gonna see what is in for us here at Mission 24. I'm super excited by Airsoft Helden, of course. They're gonna do a great job, I'm absolutely sure. And then we're gonna check out how we're gonna get the task force best. Let's do it. So guys, today, this is my little loadout for the night game first, and then tomorrow I'm gonna change up a little bit. But yeah, I have just a little shirt with my chest rig, which is completely empty because I am running for the first time my stoner LMG project, which finally kind of finished, and I'm gonna try it out tonight actually with the tracer unit. I'm really looking forward to that. So yeah, I'm gonna go play LMG for the first time. One little thing, in Germany, full auto is only allowed below 0.5 joules. So this thing doesn't shoot so hard. It's just on the border, uh, 0 0.48, 0 0.49 with 0 0.28 gram BBs. This is what I'm gonna run, then just black pants, then I have a little red bandana, obviously for the La Hondra, a little sling that I have to attach to the LMG and then just a super easy light loadout. As you can see, it is super hot. I'm sweating like crazy. And yeah, a little boonie head like I had last time as well. So super simple loadout for the night. And then for tomorrow, I'm gonna change it up a little bit on the gun. Of course, I have to put on the, all the camera gear and equipment, but this is what I'm gonna run for the night. And we're gonna go hard in the night because last time that was actually the best thing to do is go through the entire night, have the most fun at night because everyone can play during the day and we wanna roll hard during the night and have as much fun, maybe more than last time. Because I'm teaming up with some guys, the Colonial Marines, some of you may know them and they have night vision capabilities. So maybe we can do some real, real damage against the task force. Anyways, it's almost getting time to go to the Escobar where the actual the game is gonna kind of start, the introduction of the game, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna go and roll. I can't believe it, oh my God. We're back here for Mission 24. It was just the best freaking thing last year. Really looking forward. Let's do this. So we parked the car because we actually had to bring the car back to the parking spot. Not like last time 
last time we were lucky enough to keep it at our HQ but it is freaking hot guys it's like 35 degrees Celsius right now it's so hot and it has a general danger of forest fires I would say so there's absolutely no cars at all at the HQ because of potential fires also no smokes all of that nothing by the way I'm here with uh, Aaron he's joining me and of course all the other guys from the Colonial Marines and so on and now actually we're walking to find the Escobar for the beginning briefing for the welcoming uh, ceremony I think it's somewhere over here on the left side pretty soon and then yeah we're gonna go back to HQ and from there game's gonna start so let's find in this giant game field the Escobar Alrighty, party people we found the Escobar it's right in there it's the safe zone bar on the extra game field you can get uh, some drinks and burgers food also beer I believe in there and of course so there's a safety concept for with masks obviously in there because there's quite a lot of people now uh, but out here it's uh, totally fine you know? we spotted there's a lot more La Honda people than task force maybe the task force is still hiding out I don't know but uh, it looked pretty good for the actual La Honda. So the cartel is gonna rule the place for sure. I think yeah, inside is gonna be the opening ceremony now. It's uh, super freaking dark, so you can't see anything. It's right in there. Maybe I, I won't film at all, but yeah, we're gonna hang out here. Finally, it's a little bit of a draft going. But yeah, let's see what it brings. <laughs> All decked out now waiting for the game to begin I'm actually squad leader Alpha I'm gonna be part here with Aaron and some other dudes and then all with the Colonial Marines but they're still gearing up so we are just waiting here now for the game to begin everyone's ready we're definitely more than last time if you see behind me and the yeah, game is about to start I think uh, momentarily 10 minutes maybe 20 and then we go it's not dark yet like in october it was but i don't think that's a problem at all show me the good stuff yeah give me the you come my friend where's the boss that's come <laughs> game is about to start we have our first mission we have to wait actually a little bit so the first wave runs off and then we have to collect some money of the escobar how do you say some uh, money against uh, not committing violence if you know what i mean should skate we say german i don't know the english word right now but yeah game i think any minute now they're getting ready we're all decked out that was officially start of mission 24 guys let's do it let's get the freaking task force where it hurts them the most finally we're moving out we have to move El Mojito to the Escobar and also to collect some money. Okay guys, a little update. We are getting closer to the Escobar. The Colonial Marines are doing the recon up front. Okay, so we're almost uh, touching the Escobar now. They're gonna go recon out that there's no task force coming from that direction. And then we're gonna move El Mojito, the asset, into the freaking Escobar. Hier Phoenix, ja, verschiebt weiter nach vorne. Wir rücken von hinten gerade schon nach. Die sind sehr ungeduldig hier. 
Start for South Pole. Okay, the guys are securing the up front corner and then we're gonna can move in the VIP. So I said, the VIP has to get moved into the escort. No idea what was going on, everyone just ran back to the HQ with the prisoner of the Escobar. <laughs> so we got the guy, we got him all back. It was kind of a super mess actually, because they were running off, trying to get back to the HQ and then we were just saving the back of them to move. And now we're securing the back room in front of the HQ and the street. There's a lot of movement of the task force. Uh, why they're interrogating the prisoner, of course. And we try to get as much money out of it as possible. We went out again, this time a little bit more organized, to check a clock that is inside the Zoll house or customs building to see if it is collecting time for us. Unfortunately, my freaking GoPro glitched out and didn't record any of it. It just denied saving all clips it recorded so far. Probably because of the high temperatures. Anyways, we got into some great firefights and I got my first hit with my stoner. As the sun was setting and it was getting dark, we went back to the HQ to get night ready. A little update guys, I don't know if you can see me. Maybe like this. A little update, we have a lot of money. And so, Scots. And, oh my god, it's so fucking hot. We have to go outside. Uh, we have to go out for rescue mission a little bit. But Jesus Christ, it is freaking hot still. But we made some cash. By the way, the little flashlight I was using there is the TC15 LED flashlight that has an output of 2300 lumens. It's by Through Night and they hooked me up with this awesome light. The best thing about it for this op is it has a firefly mode with only one lumen of output. Perfect to stay sneaky. Check the link in the description for more info. But that was not all because my friends from the Colonial Marines brought their night visions out for the next mission. Our mission is to walk behind enemy lines to bring our very own hacker to a bunker deep in enemy territory to steal some data. It was important to leave no trace behind, so we got ready to blow everything up after we finished the data download. But the task force was not far. The firewall wurde gehackt and we beginnen with the data download. We sollten uns bereit machen auf. Gegner. Wir weichen aus nach Sprengung Richtung Norden. Noch vier Minuten. Wir haben Kontakt von vorne. Abgeschlossen. Wir bereiten die Sprengung vor. Wir setzen ab. Zehn, neun, acht, räumen. sieben, sechs, fünf, vier, drei, zwei, eins. Mein Ding feedet nicht, Alter. Akku leer.
Ich hab Freunde. We advanced further into enemy territory after breaking contact to disable the enemy's power supply. That meant approaching the windmill right next to the enemy's HQ to blow it up. And this is the end of part one of Mission 24. I hope you guys enjoyed and if so, please smash that subscribe button and leave a thumbs up. More videos are going to come about Mission 24, so stay tuned for part two and some epic gameplay during the day so you can actually see something. Okay, bye guys. Now watch a different video.